You are watching Jancy's Corner. 5th of January 2023. Our three weeks vacation has ended and it's the day that we are coming back to Manila. We will stay there for two nights before going back to Ireland. The whole family is coming but it's time to say goodbye to Ilocos. Luckily, new tollway roads were built making the travel shorter which is approximately 5 hours and 30 minutes via the car. Unlike before, it can last from 7 to 9 hours. As we go along, we pass several towns before you could reach Manila. It was interesting to see each time you enter another town, not mentioning the beautiful green scenery and fields along its way. Since we are traveling far, we stop from time to time to use toilet and stretch our legs. Our first stop is the gasoline station. Aside from attending the call of nature, we also buy some snacks and top up our gasoline. More moments later. After traveling for more than an hour, we stop again and this time, we met the other members of the family that went to Baguio first. We had our lunch together. Then, off we go again. As we go along, I couldn't stop myself appreciating the vast land that we passed by and the several green mango trees planted in some part of the lands. I said to myself that it is really true that Philippines is a rich country, rich of natural resources, and it's for the people to cultivate it right. Yeah. What did you order? Huh? Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Oh. On our third stop, we did not only use the toilet, but we also bought some refreshments. This time, we had a bubble tea. I got a taro with pearl milk tea. I noticed that bubble tea has been popular recently, not only here in the Philippines, but also abroad. After a long drive, finally we reach Manila. It is really challenging to drive here in Manila. Lots of motorbikes and tricycles popping on each side. Nevertheless, we reach our destination, our Airbnb. The accommodation really suits for a large number of occupants like us. Everyone is so curious about the accommodation and we toured around the house. Next day, we decided to spend time outside. Sam decided to watch basketball and mostly went to the Venice Grand Canal Mall. It takes 30 minutes to get there and it has a gloomy cloudy weather which means it's not too hot to go around and we could enjoy the day.
We went around and like in abroad, you will see human statue display in certain area of the mall. To take photos and videos, you need to give donations as an act of gratitude to what they are doing. Also, you will see stalls selling souvenir items. As we explored the place, we came across this corner where walls are painted beautifully. Can't resist to take photos. In this bridge that connect the two buildings, you will see the canal that replicates the view in Venice. Here, you can take beautiful photos of the place. So, let's join us as we explore the place. And we spotted the first gondola. The gondola is a traditional flat bottom Venetian rowing boat, well suited to the condition of the Venetian lagoon. It is typically profiled by a gondolier who uses a rowing oar, which is not fastened to the hull, in a sculling manner and also act as the rudder. As practice in Venice, you will also notice uh, a love block uh, in the bridge, which is a padlock placed on the surface to symbolize a connection such as love, friendship, and family ties. The love block is placed by individual or groups and the key is later tossed away in the surrounding water or keep it in a secure location by the participant. Hi. Hi. Two, three, go! You can also toss a coin and then make a wish in this bridge. After a while, we got tired and we decided to have some snacks. So far, JC was enjoying the New York style pizza. Some of us have decided to buy some sizzling foods and it has a variety of choices. Mm, yummy. Takoyaki. Daddy Joan bought this takoyaki and he wanted us to try it. We are off again after we are all full. And as we pass by, I was amused by this shaped cotton candy, so I take some videos. Of course, we're not gonna leave this mall without trying the gondola, so we look for the ticketing section. After the here and there, we finally found the ticketing booth of the gondola. As far as I can remember, we paid 400 pesos for each person.
We reached the docking area and there is a long queue. They also have a Paddle Swan which I can remember is approximately 299 pesos. After waiting for a while, finally we, it's our turn to ride the gondola. For a while, and we reach both ends. Now it's time to dock our gondola. Oh. Yeah. 
Of course, Jesse's day is not complete without buying his souvenir cup. Everyone was tired so we looked for a place to chill out. Some of us decided to have a bubble tea. So let's check it out if how they make it. That was quick and my bubble tea is ready. Finally, I can taste my bubble tea and it was super delicious. Mm, yummy. The others decided to go around and we're the only one left in this restaurant. So, at the end, we decided to go in and enjoy some of the food served. It's getting dark and all the lights are on at this time. So, let's look around the canal if how does it look like at the evening time. And we were able to witness a fabric show at this time. We are all startled when we saw the airplane passing by as the fireworks fires in the sky. It's getting late at night and we decided to go home however our leaf is not yet here and they're still enjoying the basketball so we have no choice but to wait until Kuya AJ come. While waiting we're enjoying our surroundings and at the same time we buy some things in the gift shop and let me show you guys what I can see around. And then Kuya AJ, our driver, arrived and we went to this area and we were so amazed, full of lights. Um, and more or less, this is where the fireworks was situated. Then we went to the car park. You can tell that it's already late at night because as you can see only few cars left and one of it is ours. And there you go, we're on our way home. At the end everyone is so happy. I hope same as you guys after watching this video. Hope you have discovered a new place with us. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more awesome tips and more places to explore. So see you guys next time. And please don't forget uh, to visit our website at www.jnccorner.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.